Hello everyone, Clifford is here once again uh, with, I suppose, an update slash rant. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video, and quite frankly, I'm just out of ideas, honestly. Um, I feel like, as far as like showcasing games on Proton, I've covered all of the games that I really want to show off. I mean, I, I, you know, not not much else to say really. I've I've feel like I've covered everything that's worth covering. Um, I suppose I could start showcasing native games, but ugh, don't think anyone really cares about that. Oh, a Linux game running on Linux! How impressive, right? No. Um, so I I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this channel now. Um, I might start doing Let's Plays, although I did try to do that once, and I got so fucking bogged down in the editing that I was just like, fuck this. So if I was going to start doing Let's Plays, it would be more of a, a lazy, casual, uh, I guess just a recorded live stream, pretty much. So if I'm going to do that, I might as well start live streaming, but, um, you know, that is something else I wanted to do at some point anyway, so maybe it's a sign. Um, but, aside from the, the whole Linux and the gaming stuff, uh, there's, there's the music stuff, I'm getting back into that lately, uh, I'm working on another cover song at the moment, and I'm hoping to have that released in the next week or two, depending on how quickly I get over the cold that I currently have, it's, it's, it's just all... Everything's great right now, guys, and it's just about to get even greater. Because I'm going to tell you a little story now. A little story about the only Apple product that I own. It's an iPod Mini second generation. And uh, let me just uh, pop the motherboard out here so I can show you what I've done to it. Because, uh, well, there's the board. That battery. Right there, that's an aftermarket battery, higher capacity than the one that comes at stock. And of course it's newer, so it's not likely to fail compared to the one that was originally in here. And, instead of the hard drive, 32 gig compact flash card. Can't really ask for much better than that, really. Well, I mean, obviously you can, but, you know, all, pretty much all of my music fits on here. With plenty of room to spare, so pretty pleased with that, and uh, I like to shit on Apple whenever I can, but I, I cannot knock the, I, the iPods, the old classic iPods, because they just sound great, you know, compared to my Android phone, you know, it's a decent phone, there's nothing wrong with it particularly, but the audio is shit, I don't want to listen to music on this, I want to listen to music on my iPod, and I can't do that at the moment. Not because the board is dead or anything. I can I can demonstrate this by uh, plugging the fucker in right now, and uh, there, little Apple logo comes on and she boots up. So there's nothing wrong with the iPod. The iPod works perfectly fine. So why can't I use it? It's quite simple. The wheel fucking just died randomly. Don't know why, it just did. So, of course, I went out uh, and, well, I didn't go out, I stayed in and went on eBay and I got a replacement. Now, before I show you this replacement wheel, I'm going to show you a picture. Uh, it's the, the, the picture of the wheel or a wheel that was on the eBay uh, listing page showing the product, of course, and I'll point out in the bottom left-hand corner here, this connector, that connector is supposed to go right in here, and that connector is supposed to be soldered onto the board for the wheel. Now, would you like to tell me if there's something missing here? Huh? Have a right good close look, yeah? Hmm? Anything missing? Hmm? No, I'm not going to call out the, uh, the the particular seller here because you know I uh, you know I'm gonna 
you know, request a refund and everything and, and go through the whole procedure and, you know, uh, as, as much as I am a cynical bastard and I'm fully expecting them to, you know, bullshit me around, uh, you know, benefit of the doubt and all, they might be totally cool about this whole thing, send me a new one and all that. Um, but, uh, now I'm going to rant a little bit about eBay, because naturally I, you know, I want to leave some feedback about this. You know, I want, I want to make sure that the seller knows what's happened, and I want to make sure that eBay knows what's happened, and I want to make sure that any other customers, potential customers, browsing eBay that come across this listing, know what happened. I think that's fair, right? And again, I'm quite happy to give the seller any opportunity they like to, you know, uh, you know, make this right. But anyway, uh, so of course, I go to leave uh, feedback after requesting the re refund, and uh, check this out. You need to wait seven days before you can leave neutral or negative feedback for the seller. Well, that's funny because I'm not having a neutral or negative experience in seven days time, eBay. I'm having it right now. So how about you go fuck yourself in seven days? <laughs> um, so that was me calling out eBay right there. Um, but again, I'm not going to call out the seller until they have proven themselves to be dickheads or not. So... Um, well, I'll keep you posted on that. Um, I guess just to further cover my ass in case they do try to fuck me around, I'm I'm gonna finish this video with uh, a little clip of me posting <laughs> the wheel in the post box to return it to the seller. So, with that, I say farewell, and I shall see you in the next video. Swag.